what's going on fellow rangers welcome back to another video here on power rangers legacy wars my name is Jonathan snow and today guys we got some incredible news and we got a lot of things to talk about today but they're gonna we're gonna be splitting it in about a couple of videos today uh first things first we got a brand new character into the legacy wars but before we begin uh we're gonna take a look at it. if we go to select morpher on zone number 25 for the corruption zone it says psycho silver so that's right finally 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 zane gets his skin as psycho silver see now this is except this is a very very acceptable i don't mind this psycho silver because he technically wasn't a character like a real character like a real villain i don't mind zane having a skin i do have a problem with psycho blue being psycho green uh, he's his own individual character, so please, anyway, give Psycho Blue his justice and give let him get his own character. Uh, but yeah, uh, so he has a skin. Obviously, he gets a new taunt. That taunt is amazing. I cannot wait to get it in the Corruption Zone, so that's actually pretty sick. Um, I do not know who's leaving out of premium, so for those who know, you can leave a comment down below. And thank you for that. Usually they always give us uh, a new character that's coming out of the zone, and I do not know who exactly who that is. But with that being said, uh, today we got a brand, brand new character. I have no idea who this is. Uh, I have I did not watch Beast Morphers, so I don't know, you know, villain or not. He obviously looks like a villain, <laughs> but um, but yeah, uh, for costume wise, he looks amazing. Again, I don't know if he's a villain or not. It does say necessary evil, and it says it's cursed. But anyway, let's take a look at his bio here. Cyber villain Blaze is an avatar created when Evox hacked into the computer in order to create the new Rangers. Taking the image, energy, and memorizing a Blaze, this corrupted clone confronts the Rangers as Evox general with the mission of stealing the Morph X in order to liberate him from the dimension where he is trapped. Okay. So again, I never watched Beast Morphers, but we have another Beast Morpher representative. And actually, I don't know if that means did uh is the I could be completely wrong and again before we actually even begin. Um I don't know, does that mean that this guy came out of premium? Uh since they're doing that. Devin. I don't know if Devin that means Devin came out of premium. So again, that could probably be it, because I still haven't never unlocked the character. Uh, but yeah, so we do have a finally a beast more for another representative there, which is actually pretty nice. Kind of unfortunate, but they have like the same color scheme. I don't know why. Like you know, I mean, out of all characters for beast morpher, why would you choose this guy? They literally have like identical, almost identical color scheme. But anyway, I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, he is a balanced epic character. Uh, he has two strikes for primary, one strike for special, one breaker for uh for special so violence cuts with his sword blaze performs a basic combo striking his opponent and knocking them and then we have corrupted strikes uh blaze performs a stylish backflip launching the enemy in the air and finishing them with an attack that drains ep necessary evil blaze quickly attacks the enemy with the, his sword upon impact he makes a fury of flesh slashes finishing with a big ex energy explosion and avatar curse Blaze throws a whip from his hand to attack the enemy, and if he hits, he shoots an enemy beam from his sword, sealing the enemy's assist slot for a few seconds. That's actually pretty cool. So I'm actually, it's cool that you get to uh, annihilate the assist slot, and I think that's the first time I've ever seen that in Legacy Wars. Let's take a look at his taunt here. Okay, okay, looking kind of crazy. See the little purple flame there? What's the second taunt? Okay, thumbs down. Nothing too, too crazy. And then we, of course, we have his assist, which is called Superior, Superiority Complex? Question mark? <laughs> Blaze enters combat with a mocking gesture, waiting for the enemy to attack him. Upon receiving an uh, impact, he encounters with an energy beam blast. So, and he's a three. That's pretty cool. So, he's like a, a three taunting assist. Like, you know, like, uh, what do you call it? Like how Movie Blue is or i don't know we have a few characters that do that already but he's a three cost which is actually pretty nice 
so um that would definitely be pretty pretty good there to have as a an assist block there so with that being said that is pretty much it for the brand new character again uh they will be officially released this friday which is today is wednesday i'm recording this so on the 19th of november of 2021 he will be officially released so definitely stay tuned for an un unboxing uh we should have an unboxing and then we're gonna have a, a live stream that friday uh he come normally they come out at 3 p.m est uh since we are in daylight savings time that means that we get an hour back so that means he might be released at 2 p.m est so streams might be happening a little bit earlier um than normal so with that being said that will be a thing again thank you so much for watching let me know your thoughts is on cyber villain blaze and also zane getting his uh psycho <laughs> his psycho silver skin which is actually pretty awesome i can't wait to i can't wait to do that i can't wait to um see how epic that is uh you know as gameplay wise but yeah guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one stay tuned because we got some balance updates that we're gonna take a look at and finally does tommy get nerfed we'll see stay tuned see you guys then peace out